morning, everybody. Um, even though I don't celebrate it, I never have. I want to say big later, happy Valentine's Day. I hope that everybody had an amazing day. And not only with like their loved ones, but with their friends, with their family and anything like that. Um, today, I had a great night last night. Um, I don't celebrate Valentine's, not for any um, particular reason. I just don't. I don't know. I, I never have. Ever since I was well, I remember when I was little, my mom would buy me the um the little Valentine's cards, but I never got excited about Valentine's. Weird, but I I haven't, so I don't celebrate it. Like I, my husband now he he gets me. You know he's random. He's very like random with his gifts and stuff. So I don't really. I don't I'm not expecting anything on um Valentine's Day either. What we did do last night was we went to this um couples conference. It's called uh Communication and Love and it was so good. And it was a dinner too, it was so good. The food was good and the decoration was beautiful. But they had like two speakers and it was like um a husband and a wife and they were talking about like uh the perspective of the woman and the man and the relationship and let me tell you guys i've read a lot about relationships i've gone to a lot of conferences but this conference was full of aha uh -huh moments like i got i got to i mean i've been with my um husband in a relationship for almost three years but um married less than a year and we have a good communication, like I said on a previous video, but no, like after this, our communication, I can see it going better because there was areas in his life that I didn't know that it were hard for him to um, talk about. And now I do, and it was really, really cool. It was, I, I was so excited. I was like, it was the best thing, the best option. I mean, going to a restaurant, yeah, whatever. But it wasn't just, you know, eating. It was like food for the heart, for the brain which that one I, I love even more um but the video today is not about that um if you guys what I really want to talk to you guys is about um something I'm going through um I took a decision almost a month ago that I need to um not lose weight like every year resolution could have been but more i want to get healthy um i know i've talked a lot about it but I, I turned 30 in january and the perspective of life has changed a little bit like i really want to be um gee, i look like a ghost in this video i'm so white um but the the what i want right now is to have a better lifestyle i want to be healthier and because of that i've taken a couple of decisions this coming to this decision has been like a couple of reasons like one of them um i've been watching this girl called rowana rowana if you guys it's r-a-w-v-a-n she has videos in english and she has videos in spanish she has she's a raw vegetarian not that i want to be full blown out raw vegetarian or vegetarian but watching her videos and her testimony has really impacted my life another thing that impacted my life is this video going down on youtube about meats like how they're um grown and how they treat the animals and how they kill them and how they process their meat and it really first of all disgusted me i'm not like a lover of like i love animals but i'm not like some people that are like oh, you know I love animals. I respect their lives, you know? And I'm not gonna stop eating meat all the way, but I wanna be healthier. And I wanna be more aware of what I put into my body. Um, that's the second thing. The third thing is, um, I've mentioned her before as Andy. Um, her experience with losing weight after, you know, being a mommy and everything has really inspired me because she's, um, she set herself goals and she's like really done them. And I have been trying to lose weight forever. I have tried everything. I have tried pills. I have tried exercise, the gym, Jenny Craig. Um, I even went to, I forgot the last one, place I went. It's like by point. Um, 
I forgot right now. But I've tried everything. I've tried everything you guys can think. I've tried, I said pills. I've tried crash dieting. I've tried everything. I do love exercising. When I get myself into the routine of exercise, it's awesome. Um, but I'm not into diets, like, or restraining myself from all these things. But I am taking, like, little steps towards being healthier. And again, this is a personal reason. There's not a reason. Because some people, when I tell them, I'm not doing certain things. They're like, why? You need to be careful. And I'm like, I'm not crazy. Like, I've been doing my little researches. And um, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, one of the things I stopped doing, and I want to talk about this because this has been hard. And it's so funny. It's been hard not because I'm willing to not do it. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little tired. Um, Sorry, guys. Not because I'm not willing to do it, but because it just, I didn't realize how much of it I was doing. Like, I decided to stop eating pork altogether. Like, for the rest of the year, I do not want to have pork. Um, so I'll stick to, like, chicken and beef, and, and I don't really eat fish. Eat fish, but... Um, so it's so funny because, I first, I kept forgetting I wasn't eating pork. I do not buy pork at my house most of the time. I'm a very, like chicken person and i go to the supermarket and i buy a pork thing that has like different types of meat in it and when i get home i'm like babe i'm not eating pork why did i buy this so i actually i ate some of it and then i just cooked it for him for work and i just backed away then i go to my dad's house and he's making ribs and you guys might think i'm stupid but i do not know the difference between ribs beef from the cow and pork ribs they told me I, I googled it it says there is beef ribs so he's making ribs and i'm like talking to him I'm like oh, i don't eat pork no more he's like it's fine these are um c cow and i'm like okay so we sit at the table and we're eating and then somebody brings why am i doing this again and somebody's like but you're eating pork and i'm like i have finished eating i was like Ugh. and the other day i go to mcdonald's which I'm trying not to eat fast foods, but I did go to McDonald's and I ordered the McChicken. And for some reason, I ended up with the cheddar bacon McChicken. And then when I bite into it, I feel it. I'm like, I haven't eaten bacon for like two months just because I haven't ate it. Um, and I had to like take that bacon out of my mouth. And I'm proud in the sense that I am like really willing to do this. So I'm like pushing myself away from it. So, okay, then I go um, with my um, family to Chili's on, I think it was two days ago. And then I'm, like, there trying to order. And I ask her about the ribs. She tells me they're poor. So I order um, a steak with loaded they were the loaded potatoes so when i'm about to dig into them i see the sprinkle of the bacon there so i'm over here like scraping it and my family's like really but i really want to do this guys um i know there's a lot of people you have to have meat because you have to get your protein and you have to get this and that okay people need to read they need to get um information before they just judge you and I, well, you know what i have noticed also every time we want to do something different from whatever everybody else is doing everybody just seems to like have a comment to make and it's funny to me because like with my gray hair i haven't given you guys an update but i've also like been getting still people telling me when are you gonna dye your hair or why are you letting it gray out and it just seems funny to me like let me tell you yesterday i f i looked at them i was like oh i wonder if my husband will want me to dye my hair but we had that conversation so i was like no i'm i'm not i don't want to i really want to stick to this not only because i'm liking the gray hair but because i want to get a point across and my point is that it doesn't matter it's fine Wanna have gray hair? Have gray hair. I stop eating pork. I don't wanna eat pork. It's fine if I don't eat pork. So, um, and today, um, I wanna, uh, I'm waiting for a call for my walking buddy. I'm gonna try to start walking, even if it's once a time a week. I'm not setting me like any high goals. I'm not having any high expectations because sometimes I do my agenda and I'm like I'm gonna walk this day this day this day this time to this time and I end up not doing anything they're just looking at it, it makes me tired so I'm doing like little changes um I'm very hopeful 
I don't have no weight loss expectancy. Like I'm not like I'm gonna lose 20 pounds. No. Um, I just want to feel better. Um, I've had this condition since I'm little. I'm a very like I have a very slow, slow digestion. So I'm not even supposed to be eating red meat. <laughs> so tired um i'm not even supposed to be eating red meat since i'm little um because if you guys didn't know it takes a long time for you to digest the red meat um compared to um maybe chicken so so i'm laying off a bit so um yeah that's what i wanted to tell you guys i wanted to tell you guys that um life is all about setting yourself goals like one thing i do not like is to be stuck like i always want i always like doing something pushing myself a little bit i know i haven't been constant on some things like i have noticed i've started doing a lot of things in my life i haven't finished them but this year that's one of my goals like i wanna whatever i start i want to finish it i don't want to leave it halfway it's like sometimes you get discouraged you feel you're getting discouraged the best thing is to have somebody to push you forward like <clears throat> late last year i made a decision <clears throat> to quit my date my job and as you guys know i'm babysitting um well i it was for a reason like i'm trying to start my own business and somehow along the way i i've lost focus on that and if it wasn't because my best friend um like two weeks ago was like you're what you're looking for a job I, where what was weren't you doing this and this and i was like oh my god like duh <laughs> i i had to refocus and i was great but if you don't share that with somebody if you don't have somebody who like knows I mean, and you're not going to tell everybody and anybody because not everybody wishes you the best. But, you know, have that person, that that person that whenever you're like this, just getting out of focus or, or whatever, or you're being lazy, that that person can be like, look, get your act together. So, yeah, I had that person be like, no, you ain't getting a full time job because you need to do this. And I'm excited. I'm excited for for the goals i have for this year if you guys haven't set any goals come on set some goals i mean share them down here maybe i can be the one pushing you um i think that that um just having that support of other people just helps you another thing is that you have to listen i've noticed that a lot of young people nowadays they just don't take advice they're like whatever i'm gonna do whatever i want and i'm 30 and I had whatever areas in my life I have had any success, it has been because I've listened to somebody. Um, yeah, you get mad when your parents tell you things. You get mad when your older people tell you things. You get mad, period, when people tell you what you know is wrong and you don't want to do the right thing. That's me. It makes me squirm inside when somebody's like, you should do this. And I know I should be doing it, but I just don't do it. So we have to be a little bit more humble and like look for people around us that have it together in some area that we need to get it together so that we can grow. Um, it's always good to have somebody poking you to to move. You know, I have a lot of people poking me all the time. Like not even on, not only on Facebook, but like in my life, they're like, don't get out of track so yeah um it's nothing bad with with listening to what people have to say sitting down and analyzing it just don't brush off what people have to say just because you think you know it all because you don't i don't old old people don't have don't know it all i mean that's basically what i wanted to talk to you guys i mean it's early i'm gonna go have some breakfast oh epic fail i tried blogging and the other day and it's a mess but i really really wanted to start doing that i mean my life might be a little boring to you guys but hey i want to get it out there some something might be useful one thing if you go a whole day without learning something you just wasted a whole full 24 hours of nothing i say if i don't learn something new today my day had no it was productive at all it wasn't productive so Every day is an opportunity to learn something new. It's not through my video. It's through somebody. Keep your eyes wide open because everywhere around you, there's a lesson to be learned. And it's great. 
because being able to learn it, apply it, and then being able to pass it down to other people is really just very productive. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. I goes. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I don't think it was that long. Yeah, it is. I can see the time there. Um, but I don't know. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Share your video. Comment. And if you like, you like. And if you didn't, don't press that button. Don't. Don't.